Hi, I'm Matt with Bridge Crew, and I want to take a couple of minutes to go through a new feature that's just landed in Chekhov, which is using Chekhov through configuration files rather than CLI parameters. And I'm really excited to see this in Chekhov because it's something that a number of community users have been requesting. There's multiple reasons whether you know the Chekhov command is just getting a little too complex for your advanced use cases, or let's say you want to have in source control for your CI CD deployments, slightly different instances of Chekhov, checking for slightly different things, whether it be dev, stage, or test, doing that in a config file which can be tracked um, and separating that out from your CI CD configuration um, is a really neat way of doing it. So let's get into it. So first of all, we've updated the Chekhov readme. So there's now a section where you can get all the information you need on using Chekhov with a configuration file. You can see here, um, just at the bottom of the readme, um, we're checking for three places for a config file by default. We're checking wherever Chekhov is run from the current working directory for a .chekhov.yaml or .chekhov.yml. We're also checking against the directory that you're pointing Chekhov to. So dash D or dash dash directory, we'll check if there's a config file in there. And then we'll also look in the user's home directory of the current user running the process, um, just to see if there's anything there. You can also directly call out a config file path um, on the Chekhov command as a single parameter, um, which is super useful, as I said, for those CI CD use cases. So let's have a look at this in real terms. What I've got here, is I've got the latest version of Chekhov installed in a pipenv, and at the time of recording, that is 20196. So as I said, with Chekhov now supporting a lot of new features, we support you know not only kind of skipping checks and skipping frameworks, but also um, integrating with bridge crew so that you can uh, visualize multiple CI CD runs in one place. Um, and all that kind of good stuff, as well as Docker file scanning through the Palo Alto acquisition, the commands can get pretty long. And so, for example, you know, we might not want to be in a position where we're typing this out, or even just having to embed this on a single line of a, of a CI CD configuration. And so, if we run this, um, my test DIR here is actually an excerpt of the Terragoat project. So, I've got some AWS um, vulnerable by design Terraform resources in there. And if we run this, Chekhov will go and do its thing um, and we'll get a load of policy violations. So that's all well and good. And so instead of doing that, what we can do, and you will notice there was a configuration file example um, in the Chekhov readme here, but we don't actually need to copy that out because Chekhov can take the configuration we're currently using and save it for us as a config file. So if instead of that previous command, I just run the same command with create config checkoff.yaml. What we'll actually get here is checkoff not running the checks, but actually outputting us a checkoff.yaml. And we can see that here in our local directory. Um, and it's basically a config file representation of exactly what we've um, we've just been running locally on the CLI. So at this point, what I can do is just run Chekhov with no parameters, and I will get exactly the same result because Chekhov will find that local Chekhov.yaml config file and we'll use that instead. And there we go. And so at that point, it's then really easy to go and um, edit this configuration. And for those you know who are familiar with Chekhov, you'll see that the configuration file syntax is pretty much exactly the same as the dash dash options you'd be passing on the command line. So it should be very familiar to see what a configuration option does um, or doesn't do and, and to find the settings you need. If you need more help with that, we have the CLI command reference. And so as you'll see, these are very familiar and similar um, to what you're seeing in the config file. So if we go back to our config file we've just created, what we can do is as I said, we've, we've got some Terraform in there. So let's take a specific check that we want to skip. So let's say CKV2 AWS 6 um, and add that as a skip check. And we'll see that this config file is being listened to. Oh, my apologies. 
we'll see that this config file is being listened to uh, because if we rerun this, we then won't get that check in our output. Let's run this again. And there we go, we can see we've got CKV AWS 11, but no CKV AWS 6. Hope that's really helpful. Um, for more of this discussion or to jump in on kind of all things infrastructure as code security, uh, do come and join us in our Slack at slack.bridgecrew.io. Um, and yeah, see you next time. Thanks everyone.